Let's talk about Green's theorem. We've been dealing with line integrals of this form. This is the line integral of f along c, where c is some curve. In this section, we'll learn a new way to evaluate such integrals when c is a simple, that means it doesn't cross itself, so this would be a curve that crosses itself. This is not simple. This is simple. c is a simple closed. Closed means the starting point and ending point for, are the same, so that would be a closed curve. This is not a closed curve. So when c is a simple closed curve traversed in a counterclockwise direction. So this would be an example of a simple closed curve traversed in a counterclockwise direction. Let's see be a piecewise smooth. That means maybe it's not smooth, but, but you can break it into a finite number of pieces that are smooth. Let's see be a piecewise smooth simple closed curve in the plane. And let r be the region bounded by c. So again, we can apply Green's theorem when we're evaluating line integrals of the form we saw a moment ago, where our border C, or our curve C, is a piecewise smooth, simple closed curve in the plane. Let R be the region bounded by C, so R is the inside over here. If M and N have continuous partial derivatives in an open region containing R, then this line integral, line integral of MN dot dr, in other words, the line integral of f along C, another way to write is m dx plus n dy, it turns out that this line integral equals just an ordinary double integral, the double integral of partial n partial x minus partial n partial y over the region r, where r is just the board or what's inside the, the curve c. Okay, so let's evaluate this line integral, the line integral of f along c, where f is 3xy, 2x squared, and c is the boundary of the region between y equals x and y equals x squared minus 2x. Here's what that region looks like. So we're in so our our curve C is this. That's what our curve C looks like. And we're traversing this counterclockwise like that. Okay, so according to Green's theorem, this line integral, which you can write in this way, you can write in this way, this line integral will equal this ordinary double integral, partial n partial x minus partial n partial y dA. Now again, this is our m and this is our n. This is our m, this is our n. Partial n partial x, that's going to be 4x. And partial m partial y, uh, that's going to be that's going to be 3x. Okay, partial m partial y is 3x. So partial n partial x minus partial m partial y is 4x minus 3x, which is also known as x. And again, we're integrating this over the region r. Here's what r looks like. Again, c was the boundary, and r is what's bounded by that boundary. R is the region inside. So our integrand is x. Y in this case goes from this, which is x squared minus 2x, to x. Okay, And x goes from 0 to 3, because these curves intersect at 0, 0, and 3, 3. OK, so that's what we get for the double integral. Evaluate that by integrating first with respect to y. We get xy. y goes from x. Uh, squared minus 2x to x. Uh, plug in x squared, and we get this. Subtract what we get when we plug in x squared minus 2x. That's what we end up with. OK, so notice the x squared minus negative 2x squared. This can be 3x squared. So we get the integral of 3x squared minus x cubed as x goes from 0 to 3. This is x cubed minus x to the fourth over 4 from 0 to 3. In other words, 27 fourths. Green's theorem has numerous applications in physics, like applications to electromagnetism, magnetism, for example. Uh, you can find some cool articles on Wikipedia and Stack Exchange that talk about this.